Now, Russia is also to hold its presidential elections in March next year, and this will be Russia's first elections ever since its forces invaded into Ukraine in February 2022. This will also mark the first time that residents of the Russian annexed Ukrainian territories will be voting in a Russian election to elect the Russian president. Our next poll gets more details. Missiles rained down from the air and tanks rolled inside Ukraine. Russian soldiers were marching in Ukraine from all directions. The falling of Kyiv seemed inevitable. This is when the Ukrainian administration and troops entrenched themselves to hold on to the capital and fend off Russians by any means possible. Thanks to the weapons and military aid flowing in from the west, Ukrainians were able to save Kyiv after days of fighting on its outskirts. Soon, the Russian forces withdrew from Ukraine's north and the theater of war got limited to Ukraine's south and east. In the coming months, Russia tightened its grip on four key regions in Ukraine's south and east. By September last year, Russia formally annexed Donetsk, Luhansk, Zaporizhia and Kherson. More than a year later, the front lines have not changed much. Russian installed governments are now controlling much of the annexed regions. The residents are being issued Russian identification cards, passports and so on. Now that Russia considers the territories and its people as its own, it is allowing them to vote in the upcoming presidential elections. The West expects Russia to use the voter turnout in these regions to add legitimacy to its rule in these regions. Russian President Vladimir Putin is up for re-election. Putin's victory is all but certain, given the absence of any strong opposition candidate. Not that no one can challenge Putin in Russia, it's just that they are either dead or imprisoned before they even file their nominations. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.